Hello and welcome back to Into the Breach. We're back on island number two. We've got a few mechs here. You uh, you might be familiar with them. Been using them. For better or for worse, you know, poorly or, or otherwise. Uh, <laughs> we are, yeah, island number two and we got a couple of things to consider. First of all, what's our next map going to be? Uh, in order to arrive at that decision, though, we have to kind of scope out what our options are later on. And I think this is definitely the goal. Uh, you know, when you look at this and you see, wow, that's a lot of reactor space. Man, I can't wait to get all these reactor cores and, you know, have fun and play around with stuff. But <laughs> it's it's a lie. You don't get any reactor cores, or very few anyways. Uh, maybe you get more if you're better at the game. But There's a reactor core here. Uh, so we can't pass that up. That means we have to kind of figure out a way to get there before four maps have been completed. And I think that if we go here, this will open up if we complete this mission. Um, however, I think I want to go this way because what we're probably going to want to do is see about... We'll have an opportunity here to bolster the energy or the power grid. I think if we go to the Rust Dunes... And then to whatever this is, and then here, and then the last map can be, you know, I guess depending on what our power grid situation is, we can either go here or here. Ideally, I'd like to go here because we want to get as many corporate reputation points as possible. Um, but this is what we're going to start with. Keep firing until every Vec is dead, then shoot them again. Do not allow even one to escape, for they'll swarm us again in days. Uh, so that's probably why I have to kill at least seven enemies. This is actually quite difficult. Um, we might not get this. I, uh... We also don't have, like, any... Any water, obviously, because we're in the desert. So we can't drown anybody. And we don't have any damage upgrades, because we just don't have enough... Gas in the tank. Uh, or reactor cores in the... Reactor core pod holder thingy. So... All right, so we've got a couple of new things going on here. So let's select this guy and see what, what's up here. On sand, tile will turn into smoke when damaged, preventing this unit from attacking. So that's quite good um, if they're on it. It's quite bad if I'm on it. Also, this is a scorpion, which I think is just a standard issue dude, right? We've seen him before. So we've got two guys that we've seen before, and then we have this guy that has very many hit points. The alpha scorpion. And he basically just does a bajillion damage, so that's good. Goring Spinneret. Nice, nice. That's uh, it's, it's great, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, so, we don't want to stand on the sand tiles, so let's not do that. Let's definitely not do that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, because we can we can maneuver around, rather. Uh, where do we put the artillery? Like, this is a, this is a tough spot. We don't really have any good lateral movement for our artillery. And these guys are not going to hang out. They're not going to hang out. They're going to move. I'm assuming they're going to go as far forward as possible. So I expect that we'll kind of see them congregating in this area, perhaps. Or maybe not. Uh, if we put guys here, though, they won't be able to immediately attack a civilian building. So that's good. How do we want to approach this situation? That is the question. Now, I think I made a mistake, actually. Well, not really a mistake, but I think I, I had, uh, if I recall from the last... From the last match, I had uh, healing packs, or su supply drop, healing drop, something like that. Which I did not equip, because I forgot to do so, but... Hopefully we won't need it. I, I don't know. This guy can one-shot any of my units, so it, it's kind of like just don't get hit by him. Otherwise, you know, it's game over. I don't want him to get... Well, I guess he wouldn't, right? I, I don't know. I, I think we'll put him here. We'll put this guy here. And maybe actually not. Let's do this instead. Because... Let's see... If we put this guy here, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm just putting him down so I can see, see some things here. So if I put him here, that's right, he has uh, extra movement, so he can go pretty much anywhere he wants. So I might actually even put him over here, what does that do for us? 
That means we can get all the way down here. Not that we would need to, but <laughs> we can do it. Um, and we have access all the way over here. We don't want to put them off, you know, get them cut off from everybody and then killed, because that would really be a tragedy. Uh, but he's got the most movement, so we'll probably put him back there. And then we won't... What we want to do is we kind of want to kind of lure them to standing on these tiles, if possible. So he can definitely make it there. He can make it there. And then we'll see what this guy does. So hopefully, at least one guy shows up here. And, uh... You know, uh, we can, you know, push them. Put, I don't know. That's not going to really work, is it? So if I read this correctly, if damage turns into smoke, I mean, if we, hmm, maybe I should put him here and see if, like, we get two guys here. Because if either of these guys attack him, it's going to move, right? It's going to move them off of this tile, and this tile will have smoke, but no longer... An enemy unit in it and if we get two guys maybe up here maybe i don't know i'm trying to funnel them up here to see if we can make use of this plus if they're side by side we can knock them into each other and which is why i don't want to be immediately next to them so i think this is probably the the best bet here so let's go ahead and confirm get into the action and see what happens okay well i guess i saw that one coming Huh. Interesting. Well, this is good, because immediately we can knock him over here. Um... <clears throat> He's not attacking. we got to figure out what to do with this guy. They're both... Hmm. Hmm. If I... Oh, what do we want to do here? So I want to move him over here. Uh, what am I going to do with this guy? Do I want to attack him? And just try to whittle down a guy as soon as possible. Like, is, is it even going to be possible to kill this guy? And then we have him, of course. So if he's over here, um, that'll block. We can either... What I could do is I could punch him over here. Right? And then... I could... That would be difficult to do. If he goes back here, though, I would actually be able to probably move him here. Except I wouldn't because he would be there, right? I suppose I could move him here. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I was just thinking about, like... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. I was thinking of ways to cleverly use the smoke to my advantage, but I really don't think it makes a difference at this point. All right, so what if... I don't remember if this is possible. What if I do this? Yeah, that'll move him, right? Okay, cool. Uh, so what, I, what I'm thinking here... Is moving him back one or yeah one's fine. Moving him back one, and then bombing this guy directly, which would bump him out of harm's way and do damage to this guy and put him in smoke, which doesn't really matter, but it, it would make me happy anyways. This guy gets knocked over there, and then what we could do also is knock this guy back and then set ourselves up. We're not killing anything though. We're spreading our damage out a lot. And I don't like that. But I also don't like taking enough damage to, like, one-shot any of my units. Hmm. 
and I don't, I don't really see any any other option here. Needless to say, they didn't, you know, behave the way I was hoping they would, or the way I, that I hoped that they had. But all right, well, let's. Let's give it a shot. We have smoke too, so. Attack canceled. See, we didn't even need to move him, but we did anyways, so. There we go. This guy, oh, that actually cleared that of sand. Although, the last time that I used smoke, it, uh, it lasted pretty much forever, so I'm assuming that's gonna be there now until Till the end of the, the map. I don't see myself getting seven enemies. I really, really do not. This guy's gonna take an additional damage. He's not gonna die. I'm really worried about this guy, but I'm also very worried about not killing anything. So the question basically boils down to, do we punch this guy or do we punch this guy? And if we punch this guy, which direction do we punch him in? Same with this guy. Could we move him back? Which might not be a bad idea, because it would force him to... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm kind of tr trying to ignore this, this guy, because... He's got too many hit points for me to do anything with anyways. If I put him too far back, he might, you know, go back here, and that would be really bad, so... I think I'm just gonna punch this guy. Here. What does that look like? Everything's kind of in order. We've got three this turn, we've got one more coming up. And that guy will be in the following turn, so that's five. And there'll probably be at least two more. We have to actually kill everything. I'm doing a terrible job of it so far. I kind of wish I had gotten the... The airdrop, because I could just take this guy out right now. But, alas, we did not, so let's see what happens. Oh, we got a new enemy. And he decided to intercept. Interesting. Very interesting. Excellent. Well, it's kind of bad, actually, but... Uh, what do we want to do here? Oh, this guy has two hit points only. One, two, three. There's no way I can make it to him. It's really, really a shame. I also can't move this guy into a decent position here. Um, I can move him here. And then we can move him back into this tile, which is fine. But... Um, we do have a slight problem here. Because this guy does artillery, obviously. Let's just take a look, quick look. He's on sand. Yep, he's a scarab. Spitting glance. Lob an artillery shot at a single tile. Does one damage. Not killing these guys really, really hurt me. Not killing these guys really hurt me. We've got four, essentially what it boils down to is we have four incoming attacks and not really any way to deal with all of them. Is there any way that I could get this guy? Wait, wait a minute. He's against the wall, so he'll die if I shoot him. That's actually a very good use. We could actually get on the board with kills. Amazing. This guy might actually have to take some damage. Um, he'll kill one guy, and then probably take one damage from this guy. There's no way that I can block this again, so... The reason why I'm doing it this way is because I think I need him over here to knock this guy out here. Uh, I 
it's it's less than ideal. It's it's less than ideal, but I don't really see any way around it. Because we have to get him out here. We can't push him far enough. We can't do any enough damage to him. We can't even attack him from here, so. And this guy's just gonna punch somebody, I guess. Uh, we can also repair, right? I don't think we'll have an opportunity to repair. If I'm being honest, but... Which of these guys would be the most beneficial to kill? Probably this guy? I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do, unless something pops out here. It grabs my attention. So we take him and... Now, the other thing that we can do with him is the smoke drop. Unfortunately, the smoke drop is not going to work in a way that will allow us to prevent all the absurd amounts of damage that are coming in. So... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just stuck with taking one damage on this guy, which is not the end of the world. He's got three hit points. I think you already told me this, didn't you? Oh, in this case, the extra damage killed the unit. Yeah, of course it did. Oh, you know what? Oh my god, I, I messed that up. I definitely messed that up. I neglected to take into account the dead zone. Ooh, boy. Well, that's a problem. I might have to use a reset here. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Um, however, what does that mean? Like, what, what does it even mean? All right, here's what we're gonna have to do. Here's what we're gonna have to do. We're going to have to use this guy to smoke these guys. We're gonna use him to artillery this guy out. This really sucks, then I still won't be able to, well, I'll get one kill. This guy won't be able to attack, and then this guy will be dead, and then we'll have avoided the damage. I don't know, I wish I would've thought about that, but that's kind of a problem. Just make sure that, uh, for sure, that's going to be a good, a good move. And yeah, I do not like this at all. I'm playing this one pretty poorly, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh boy! All right, I'm gonna have like 12 units on the screen now to deal with. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, this is what happens when you uh, fail to kill anything <laughs> on the first turn. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. What is this guy doing? He's ramming. Does he always ram? Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Charges forward to damage and push the target. Does he have a limit on his charge? Okay, let's take a look at the attack order. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. He's going to get his attack off first, and he will decimate. He will utterly annihilate the coal plants, and we will fail this mission. I don't know that I can stop him. I may have just screwed myself. 
Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. We're going to lose this mission. We are going to lose this mission. I put my artillery in a really bad spot. So that's part of the problem. Oh, man. Just even with all that move, I still don't have enough. Three guys here. Kind of stinks. I smoked myself into a corner. Maybe I should have just taken the damage. In retrospect. Mistakes were made. Many of them, in this case. <laughs> I just don't think there's any way... Basically, I can take care of pretty much everybody except this guy. He's way too far out of my reach. And I think this only has one health. So there's, re there's not anything that I can do. Like if I attack it such that it moves into this, it'll just be destroyed. And you cannot attack him at all. You just cannot attack him at all. If I could even just get one... One attack. One attack is all I needed. The alternative would have been amazing as if this guy... Number five swapped places with number one. That's the only way this could have worked. Because that would have kicked up a sandstorm. Oh man, I really backed myself into a corner here. I think that this is... Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I do like the fact that... Everything pushes the bugs around, you know? But uh, sometimes it's it's not very uh, not very helpful. We could attack here, but that, would, that wouldn't help us because we'd be in the way. We'd get smashed. And I don't think that would be enough to kick up a dust, dust storm, would it? What happens if I move him here, attack this, which causes him... I, I think only the uh, tile that gets hit with actual damage. Right. When damaged, yeah, it actually has to take damage. And getting damage on top of it is not something that I can do. Hmm. I mean, even if we... Somehow, man. I don't think there's any way that I can... Uh... There's no way. There's no way. I'm agonizing over this, I know. But I, I honestly don't know what to do at this point. I think it might be game over. Is 
this do? Oh, I'll actually kill him. Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, man. Well, now we are for sure... Oh, my God. Why did I do that? Well, I guess... No, it's not going to work. Well, this is dead anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter what you do with them. Um... Oh, man. <laughs> I get a little flustered, I guess. And, uh... Start making mistakes, unfortunately. Hey, I feel promotion. Yeah, this is this is bad. It's very bad. So that guy is charging and he has four hit points. I feel way outclassed here. I really do. Oh my god, he's got lots of hit points. Plus two mech HP. Alright, well. <laughs> we're probably gonna have to... Hmm. Probably gonna have to use that to... Uh... Cancel this guy's attack or something. I don't know, man. Everything is going down in flames. Alright, well, we can definitely kill this guy. And if we move this guy, his attack will be nullified. Um, I, man, your guess is as good as mine on these ones. And this one. <laughs> uh, I suppose I could move him here. And move this guy out. And then this guy could move over here. Have him kill this guy. And then, I don't know. I guess go here and punch one of these guys. I mean, I think this guy does more damage, right? No, he only does one damage. And so does this guy, so it really doesn't matter. Huh. Well, this is, uh... This is bad. This is by far the worst mission that I've done. Uh, but yeah. I, I got pretty flustered after making that one mistake, unfortunately. Oh, he gets knocked back. So the timing, or the uh, positioning, at least, was, was good. He survived. So you can complete the mission. I needed a thorough vet cleansing, not a half-assed attempt. Well, you know, I mean, I tried. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. That was quite fantastically bad. Uh Oh, it, the power grid, right. Yeah, that's right. We're going to lose once we get rid of all the power in the power grid. Well, now we definitely need the Dust Bowl. <laughs> oh, man, it was so bad. I feel like I have played this... We're just playing this game for the first time. Now, um... I don't know. The uh, the positioning on that one was my fatal flaw. I, uh, I had a lot of bad positioning. Or a lot of, uh, well, just, yeah, bad positioning, pretty much. Um, the one thing that I didn't do, as I mentioned, was put the repair drop in. That wouldn't have helped us here, pretty much at all. The repair drop was probably the wrong one to buy. I, I don't know if the, uh, I think the... 
the uh, bombing run, I guess. Would have been much better, but... We went with Repair Drop. Um, like I said, it wouldn't have really helped us there, but I suppose that's just the way it is. I'm really feeling the uh, the strain on the damage here. I don't know how I could have done enough damage. I'd have to go back and crunch the numbers, but I'm really curious as to how much damage I would have actually had to have put out in order to um, get seven kills in that fight. I think maybe I might have to... I don't know. I don't even know what I can do here because... I don't have enough resources to increase my damage, but without increased damage, I'm, I'm just not sure how we're going to pull this off. But anyways, that's for next time. Um, I think at this point, um, I think this will be, Dust Bowl will be our next match, and hopefully we'll do a little bit better than that one. That was by far the worst, um, the worst match I've played so far, so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get back on the horse in the next episode. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and join me next time.